Hello again and welcome back. If you are new around here, then hello, nice to meet you. And if you are returning, then thank you very fucking much for coming back. My name is Alana and I'm a 30 something lady from Scotland. That is where the accent is from. I do like to normally talk about some makeup, some skincare, that kind of pish. Fashion as well. Today is the first fashion, fashion. You know that way where you write fashion and it's F A S H O M. Just you N at the end. Fashion, baby. Uh, yeah, fashion as well, and usually some travel, all that kind of pish. We get a bit real sometimes. I do like to be honest in my opinions, and sometimes I will just tell you if a spade's a spade and if a shite is a shite. If you don't like swearing, then that is your word of warning that I do say fuck shite and bugger quite frequently on this channel. It just rolls off the tongue when you're Scottish. But as I said, this video is going to be my first fashion video in quite some time. So if that sounds like your kind of thing and you would like to see what I picked up from Primark, I'm saying it the right way. In Scotland we say Primark, right? We say Primark, but let's face it, you wouldn't go to primary school, would you? You would go to primary school. So I am admitting defeat in the fact that I am saying it the wrong way, but in Scotland generally we say Primark, so if I lapse back into Primark at any point, my apologies. This is going to be a Primark. <laughs> Fucked it already. This is going to be a Primark call. It's a very English way to say it. Primarney. Primark call. If you'd like to see that, then just keep on watching. All right. So I just want to kind of start off this video with a little bit of a disclaimer. I am not a big Primark shopper. I like Primark for really basic things. And for anybody who doesn't know what Primark is, if you're watching from somewhere else in the world, I'm sure everybody in the UK loves and knows about Primark. But if you're watching anywhere else in the world, Primark is like, I don't even know. It's not like Forever 21 because it's not just for kind of youth or young people. Uh, I don't know if it's like Target or anything like that because I know they're like homeware and skincare and they do a whole selection of things. Primark is a clothing shop and originally a clothing shop. And now it does a little bit of homeware. It also does a little bit of kind of beauty as well. Uh, is there anything else it does? It does men, women and children. It does clothing for that kind of stuff. It does footwear, it does nightwear, it does lingerie. Um, and as I say, it does homeware as well. All that kind of stuff. Duvets, cushions, candles, all that kind of shit too. Plus now in the odd shop they have like a cafe. They also seem to love Disney. They always have loads and loads of Disney shit. So if you've got kids, they would fucking love it. It would be like a theme park. But, but. There has always been a little bit of, I don't want to say scandal, just an underlying current of if you're shopping at Primark, it's cheap, it's fast fashion, uh, they maybe work out of sweatshops, things like that. I think in recent years, they have tried to address these things and say, look, Primark isn't just paying underpaid worth workers and it's unethical and all that. They've tried to address all that. I am not here to fucking back Primark up and say, well done Primark because I have no doubt in my mind that, that some of that is probably still going on. I'm not that ignorant. It also has always been one of these shops that is like, it dupes high fashion. Like you can buy a bag for a fiver, five dollars, whatever you want to say. You can buy a bag for a fiver that looks like a bag that costs 500. Let's just say for saying sake. The quality is never gonna always be there. And I think as well, people nowadays are trying to be a lot more conscious about not going out and spending loads of money on fast fashion that they're going to throw out in a couple of months time or yearly, like, you know, a yearly summer wardrobe or a yearly autumn wardrobe or a yearly winter wardrobe, etc. People are much more conscious, 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 conscious. <laughs> they're much more aware of that. <laughs> Sorry, that was just like, my words were tripping over my tongue there. They're much more aware of it. And for that reason, when I was younger, maybe in my teens and 20s, especially early 20s, I would go out to Primark on a Friday and I would buy three new outfits for every fucking night of the weekend. I was going out Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. I would have new shoes, new bag, new dress, new jacket. I would buy so much stuff because it was so, so cheap. Nowadays, I want to say the price of Primark has went up slightly, but it is still massively cheap in comparison to a lot of places. It is very, very cheap. And the quality is not always there. 
and I think there are certain things that, you know, if it's trends, if you think, I like that trend, I'd like to dip my toe in that trend, but I don't want to pay 80, 90 quid for that trend because I don't know if I'll like it or ever wear it again, Primark can probably be good for that kind of stuff. But also, it means that if you constantly buy trends, it's not great because then you're going to be buying every single trend over and over and doing exactly what I've just said isn't great for the world in general. It's not great for the environment, all that kind of stuff. It's just not good for yourself because you just end up buying things that you don't fucking need and it's wasteful. So it can be good to pinpoint a certain trend that you maybe think, I quite like that but I don't know, I don't know if it's going to suit me. It can be good that way. But it can also be quite good for your staples, your underwear, your pyjamas, stuff like that. Things that you do wear through a lot quicker than a top for saying sake. I am not going to wear this every single day, but socks that I've got in my drawer, I put socks on my feet every single day. And at the moment, because there was lockdown, I went through so many socks. The shops have not been open. Primark hasn't been open since December, I want to say. And even at that, it wasn't like I bought any socks in December. I haven't bought clothes since November, I want to say. And in November, I bought a couple of things from H&M and they were loungewear. That was it. I am not someone who goes out every single week. Uh, and I'm not someone who goes out shopping in Primark every single week. So the majority of this haul, haul, very American. Uh, the majority of this haul probably is socks, pants, <laughs> fucking pyjamas, things like that. I'm going to show you a couple of things I picked up, but I also want you to remember at the moment, because the UK is still in a lockdown of sorts, we're just coming out of things, I've picked up a lot of things to try, but I might not well keep them. And I want to make that really apparent as well, because I hate seeing these haul videos all the time and maybe people feel like they need to keep up with that amount of consumerism because you don't. At the moment we're not allowed to try things on in the shop so I've picked up quite a lot of frocks, I will try them on and the way you would take like 20 items into a dressing room in a shop you might only come out with two so that's kind of the situation here. So this is going to be a haul and try on and we will see what I like and what will be going back but I'll also just show you the couple of bits and bobs I got like socks dead exciting stuff, you know, that. So I just wanted to get the moralistic side of things out the way first because I don't really think we should be going out and spending a lot of money on clothes every single week. If that is what you do, that is up to you, but it's not what I do. So let's just get that little disclaimer out of the way now that we're 10 minutes into the video. Okay, so as I said, it is a big old bag, but, but, I won't be keeping all of this and a lot of it is just like socks and pants and things that I fucking needed. So, let's start. I picked up a few frocks. I really like, in the summertime, these kind of white, brodery, anglais, and I did want gingham. I'm really into gingham now. I think it's so, so nice, and I think it's kind of on trend in fashion, blah, blah, blah. And I thought just a few touches of gingham, like maybe a gingham dress, maybe a little like top or a bow for the hair or something to just suggest things like that. Now, I probably should have mentioned as well that I am a capsule wardrobe type of person. I have a winter wardrobe and I have a summer wardrobe. I don't really have fall and spring because we only really have two seasons here as such in Scotland. It's either warm enough to wear summer things or it's not. <laughs> so usually at this time of year, I will do a complete clear out of the wardrobe but I keep all of my clothes in storage above the wardrobe and then I bring out the summer stuff just now and back in October or something like that. Then I'll put that all away and bring out all the winter stuff again. I'll put a little video up here. I have done videos on it before. The only reason I don't do videos every single year is because once you've seen it once, you kind of get this trick, you know. That's just the way I work things. So I have staples in my wardrobe that I will always keep and staples in my wardrobe that I bring out every single year. And then I have things that I'm like, oh, I like that trend, I'll pick something up. And this brodery anglais, really nice petticoat vibes kind of dresses is something that I'm really into just now. So I picked up this one, as you can see here, it's got nice frills on it, it is brodery anglais, you will see it there, it's got a little pattern and it's probably just above the knee, I would say, but we will see when I try it on. So I picked up this one and there's quite a few that are of a similar style to that, of a similar trend. Not necessarily the same shape, but a similar theme, you know? So as you can see here, a similar theme. But this is actually a top, it's like a little blouse. And again, 
I think it's important that if you are going into somewhere like Primark, look at the quality of the material. Is it cotton? Is it viscose? Is it polyester? Is it rayon? Like, what is it? I know I might be saying like something that sounds like a different fucking language to you there, but because I studied fashion, I have some idea of what I think things will last and what I think are things that I will pull out year after year. As I get older as well, I think I know exactly what my style is and what my trends is. And they, although I like to change things up, sometimes I like to wear something really patterned, sometimes I like to wear something really bright. My staples are generally quite similar and I know what I like. So this for instance, the big collar, I love that. I don't think that I ever won't like this pretty kind of collar situation. And it's got some detail in here on the sleeve as well. So this for me, with it being a cotton top, this is no problem. This will wash well. I hope this will wash well. We'll keep our fingers crossed. As I say, it is pre-marked. But I don't see why this wouldn't wash well. It's just a fine cotton. It's light. It's airy. I would bring this out every summer, tuck it into some jeans, bobs your auntie Jemima, or into like a high-waisted skirt or something like that. Very, very up my street. But again, I might try it on and think, oh my god, no, this doesn't suit me. Again, this one is kind of baby doll. It's not even baby doll. I think this is more of like a oversized puff dress so it's got a lining in it and the hem is gathered so it means that it's almost like a balloon style at the bottom you'll see when i try it on and it's got these puffed sleeves as well with a really pretty little kind of blue twee tiny little floral print there but again i thought this was really pretty i had to pick this one up in a 14 which is actually probably going to be too big for me i probably could have got this in a 10 or a 12 but there wasn't any 10s or 12 and I thought it was really pretty. So I will try it on and if it's too big, that's fine. But because it was slightly oversized, I thought I might get away with it. So we will see. As you can see, all of these dresses are very similar. So that's why I'm saying I probably am not gonna keep them all, but I'll pick the one I like best. Now I picked this up, this is another dress. It's a maxi dress, it's tiered as well. It's got some tiered things there. And as I said, you know, think about the things you're picking. In any shop you're in, think about the things you're picking. But for me, in Primark, I've got a dress like this that I bring out every single autumn. It's like a rust colour with a little ditzy print on it. It's lovely, it washes well, it irons well, and it's got like these tears to it. It's a maxi dress, I bring it out every single year. And it probably cost me £15, if that, maybe £12. But I've had at least three years wear out of that. I don't think that's that bad. I think fast fashion gets a really bad rap because of the consumerism side of it, as well as the way that it's, it's sometimes produced in um, kind of sweatshops as well. But fast fashion gets a really bad rep because people are constantly buying, consuming, throwing away, buying again. Buy things that you think, I will bring that out year after year. I've got dresses that I have had since I shit you not was 19 years old. And I still bring them out every year because I know that I will wear that. I know I will. Obviously, throughout the years, I have consumed a lot and then threw stuff away. And probably a lot of it has went to landfill. But as I've got older and as I've came into my late 20s and early 30s, I am very much more aware of it now. So I always try and pick things that I know I will bring that out every single year. That's the way I think about things. Will I wear that year after year? That's the way I look at it. So I wanted gingham. But there wasn't gingham <laughs> but i seen this and i thought i love a stripe i have got the most beautiful blue and white striped dress from zara again i have had it for at least six years and it comes out every single summer so i seen this and i thought mm, that's quite nice so it's like kind of red and white stripe but it's not quite white it's more like a cream and it's like a linen as well so for the summer i think this will be really nice it's got this kind of detailing on the front here and as i say it's tiered and it's a maxi dress, so it's really, really long, but I can't show you until I put it on. Um, I'll see how this goes. The problem with dresses like this for me sometimes is I definitely have a bigger bottom half than I do on the top. So things like this sometimes when I'm wearing them, they look a little funny and they're a bit tight around the hips and too big on the top. So we will see how we go with that one. I then picked up these two little kind of vest tops. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I've picked these up. They may go back before I've even made this decision. They're not the best quality, like they're they're nice, they're nice, they're okay. But I know these probably aren't going to wash the way I want them to, does that make sense? But I liked the colour. It's not a colour that I wear very often and it's a colour I would maybe like to start wearing. So that is why I've picked this up. It's not because I think, oh do you know what, 
I definitely am going to wear that. I'll wear it year after year. But I picked it up because I thought this is something that I would maybe like to get into. And I don't want to spend £30 on a top that I might put on and think, do you know what? I've put this on a few times. This just isn't my colour. But I'll see how I feel about it. I'll put it on and if I think, no, that's definitely not for me, I'm just a little dubious. This one here I picked up, again, very similar, exactly the same top basically, but it has a little pattern on it and it's a kind of nude and white stripe to it and it's not a perfect stripe, it's like kind of dashed almost, I don't know. I like this, I liked the simplicity of it, I thought tucked into in the summer maybe a pair of white jeans or even tucked in the summer onto nice blue jeans, like I will wear this, I know I would wear this. But again, I'm not sure about the quality of them. I will try them on, I'll see how I feel about them, but I may take these back and try to get something like similar to this because I quite like the simplicity of the pattern. I might try and get something similar and maybe something similar to this colour. Um, I, th I think I'll probably take this one back, I'm not going to lie. This one, I like the colour, I want to try the colour. If I don't like the colour on me, that's fine. But this one, I like, I like it, I like it. I can see it in my mind with outfits I want to wear, but I don't, I don't know about the quality. I might end up taking this back. All right, everything from here on out is all underwear, socks, pajamas, stuff like that. So I'm not gonna do a try on with them. Once I've done this, we'll go into the try on. But I thought I would show you what I picked up anyway. So I picked up these, it's a three pack of wireless bras. I love a wireless bra. If I'm going to work, I usually always wear a wired bra. Sorry, I'm supping on my coffee. I always wear a wired bra in work because <laughs> I like things to stay in place and work. I don't want the risk of things either popping out, peeking out, protruding from my uniform. I want to look like there's nothing, a t-shirt bra. That's what I wear to work. But these have got a little bit of something to them. They're very, very soft. But for my day-to-day -day life, I love, I don't know if you can see it, I've got one of these types of bras on today, but not from Primark. Just a kind of nothing bra, a very soft bra. There's nothing to it. It's comfortable. I don't have a large chest, so these I can get away with. I might feel a bit different as I get older or if I end up having a child or something and my boobs get bigger, I might feel a little different. But for someone who doesn't have much going on, I'm very flat chested. Um, not very flat chested, I just don't have a big bust, right? So these kind of things I love because they're soft, they're comfortable. This is probably the things I wear day to day, but when I go to work, I always wear a wired bra because I just like things to stay put. But this, this is what I would wear day to day. So I picked up these, uh, how much was this? Three pound or something? Oh no, it's a lie. That was, it was 10 pound for the three of them. So I thought that was quite nice. I quite liked the colors as well, actually. I thought they were nice soft colors. They didn't have matching knickers for them, which annoyed me because I like, I like to match my pants and my bras, I'm not gonna lie. But I thought they looked quite nice. I also picked up, as I said, Two packs of socks, not nothing, nothing exciting. Two packs of socks because literally when I was going to work, there are holes in my socks. I have had to throw away at least four pairs of socks in the last two weeks. So I desperately needed some socks. So nothing exciting, just some socks. All right, so I think the rest is pajamas probably. I didn't actually pick up any knickers. I probably should have picked up knickers, but to be honest with you, <laughs> when I went in and I was looking at the pants, I was like, I didn't really like them or it was things that I felt they were, I don't know, I didn't like the pattern. It was annoying because they had like three plaques like the bras, but it was like two of the pair of pants I liked and the other one was a gaudy print that I just was like, no. Or they had packs that were just all plain or they had packs that were just like th thongs, oh, no, all that kind of stuff is not for me. I quite like a Brazilian brief, <laughs> but all that kind of stuff and none of them, just none of them were what I wanted and I thought, no, I'm not spending the money on it but just for the sake of buying it. I'll go somewhere else where I know. I really like going to Next as well. Next for my underwear, brads, stuff like that. I really like their stuff. So I might have a look at their stuff now that the shops are back open to see about a few other new brads. I do need a new underwired black bra because the one I had the wire burst out of on a night shift and nearly, you know, nearly protruded, nearly caused to impale me on my, on my own bra. But there is things that I'm needing because I've just wore through them in the past 12 months. So I will try and get those things other places. Pajamas. Pajamas are also things that I have desperately, I don't remember the last time I bought new pajamas. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, comfies, like lounge wear stuff, I bought in November, as I said, from H&M. But I haven't bought any new pajamas 
for a long time. So a lot of the pyjamas I've got, it's either just old vest tops that I was wearing or old shorts. They're at least three or four years old. And I thought, treat yourself, treat yourself. I do have a nice kind of satin set of one. Like, again, they were from Primark. But the thing with them is, like, once I've worn them, they're quite slippy and a little, like, I'm, they're not particularly comfortable. They're quite nice, but they're not comfortable. And I thought, I just need daily pyjamas. So, I picked up a pair of these. I already own a pair of these. They're nothing exciting. It's a pair of black soft shorts. They're very stretchy. Um, that's them. Dead exciting, isn't it? So I picked up them because I know I like them. I've worn them before. And then I picked up this set. Um, and it's like a little kind of woolly, stripy top here. But it's definitely like a thermal, like a flannel type thing. And then a little matching set of shorts as well. Thought they were quite cute. Then I picked up these little kind of beigey, marl type shorts. And again, they're that soft thermal. Like they've, they've got a nice fleecy feel to them. And I bought a little matching white top to go with it. Not matching, but you know, to go with beige. That was my thinking. Little top here, just vesty type thing. And I also picked up this one here, which is in this lovely, this is, I really like this. This is a pyjama top. It's super soft, it's super stretchy. It's in that kind of almost flannelly type thing. I, I would wear this as a top. I absolutely would. It cost six pounds, six pounds. And I would absolutely wear this as a top. So this might start as a top and then get relegated to a pyjama top after a while, but I love a racer back style of top. So I think I might actually wear this as a top and then it eventually will become a pyjama top. I also picked up this little set here. I can tell you right now this is going back. I don't really know what I was thinking. It's nice. It's like a blue and white stripe type thing, the little ditzy print. It's just not me. I don't really know. I don't know what I was thinking. This is the problem with Primark. You go in for one thing and you come out with shit that you're just like, that's probably really not me. So this will probably be going back. And obviously I picked up three other items for pajamas anyway, so, or sets of things. So this is definitely gonna go. And lastly, I picked up a pair of slippers. I had a pair of these slippers, oh, last year, the year before. Basically the start of lockdown, I had a pair of these slippers. And in summer, spring and summertime, I don't mind a backless slipper because it's a bit warmer. In winter, I like a full boot slipper because it's fucking freezing. So my full boot slippers are going to be relegated and put away. And I got a new pair of these. As I said, I had a pair last year and I really, really enjoyed them. I wore them to death. So I thought I'll get myself a new pair of these. Um, and it doesn't, I don't mean I bought a pair of these last year. I already had a pair. So they maybe lasted me two cycles, two years. Um, and so hopefully these will do the same. But they're memory foam. They look a little like the Ugg ones, but not quite the same. They're obviously not not to the same standard but I do like these I've had these before and I enjoy them and if I can get two years wear out of them and I do wash them as well you should know that then I'll be happy I also picked up a candle would it be free mark if you didn't pick up a candle because when you're in that queue of death and you're waiting to be served and they've got all of the other stuff around about you. It's like uh, the Isle of Doom in Sephora. It's the same thing in Primark. There's candles, there's house shit, there's things you never knew you needed, like, I don't know, a phone charger that's also a popcorn maker, some shit like that. I don't know. There's loads of weird, wonderful shit in the Isles of Doom. Uh, and this was in the Isle of Doom and I thought, it's Bergamo. I love Bergamo. It smells very nice. And actually, I think this will sit very, very nicely in my bathroom. It's a slightly yellow peach tint and my bathroom is gray with tones of yellow in it. And I just got, you know, one of those fucking basic bitch goes across your bath and you can set things on it. What's that called? A shelf? I, I don't know. It's like a bamboo shelf across the bath and you can put a candle on it, you can put a glass of wine on it, you can put your laptop on it and watch it in the bath. I mean, it's the epitome of a basic bitch, but I do like a bath and I do like to sit and watch YouTube videos while I'm in the bath. So it's very nice to have a little fucking shelf to put it on. So I thought that might look quite nice on that little shelf. So I was about two pound, two pound, I mean, come on. But the candles from Primark are always pretty good. I mean, they're not amazing. They don't burn the same way as a nice quality candle, but the scent is usually quite nice. And actually, I really like the little jar. I will keep this little jar. I will probably just put other things in it and then I can keep it in my bathroom to be honest with you. Right, but now that I have rambled through everything, let's try on some of those frocks and tops and stuff and I'll tell you what I'm keeping and I'll tell you what I won't be keeping and taking back. All right, so this is the first top, as you can see here. This is the kind of slightly striped one. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. This is the honest to God truth. 
I would normally wear a top like this, kind of tucked in a little, oh my button's undone, what's happening here? Tucked in a little like this and then I kind of pull it and I let it drape a little over the top of my jeans. That's usually the way I would wear a top like this. But it's nice, I don't hate it, but I'm just kind of like, could I find a slightly better quality one? I don't know. I mean, I like it. I like the cut of it as well, actually. I think it's quite nice here. And I don't have a bra on at the moment because, as I said, there's nothing, there's nothing really going on here. But I don't hate this. I think this is quite nice. I'm just wondering if I could get one that will last a little bit longer that I can bring out year after year, like I was saying, rather than this one. But I like the stripe on it. I like it. <sighs> But I'm not sure. I maybe look for a slightly better quality one, if I'm honest. All right, so this is the same top again, as I said, in the blue, which again, I like. I like the style of it. It's kind of up my street, especially for the summer loose fitting top. I quite like this color. I don't actually think I own anything like this in this shade. So in future, maybe in years to come, be like, oh, well, I'll actually try this color again because I've never really worn anything this color. I don't think. Obviously, my jeans are blue, but. Blue is not a colour that I have routinely close up to my face, so it's quite nice to see this and actually think that's quite nice. So I do <laughs> think I might keep this one and take the other one back. All right, so this is the, like the little brody ongly top. I think this is really cute. What can I say? I actually really, really like it. Um, again, normally I would always tuck things in, but because of the detailing on the bottom of this, I think I would probably leave this out. I might be inclined to wear it with like a flared trouser, like in the more kind of bell bottom type flared jeans, because I think actually that would look really nice with this style of top. Hold on, I'll just move my hair out of the way so you can actually see. That's the neckline there, and actually it falls right round onto the back as well. And I think that is really, really pretty. Um, I do have a t-shirt bra on underneath this, so that maybe makes it look like I've got a little bit more filled out, but I've not, I can assure you. Uh, if I did chuck it in, hold on. And there we go, that's it tucked in as well. And actually, I really like it like that too. I think that's a really pretty, pretty top. Very, very pretty for the summertime. And again, I could absolutely wear this with big high waisted bell bottom jeans. I think that would look really, really cute. I really like it. I think this is pretty cool. So happy with this, pleased with this, we'll probably keep this because as I said, this would absolutely be something that I would bring out year after year easily. I think this is super, super duper pretty. All right, so this is the first broderie anglais dress. I think this is adorable. <laughs> I think this is so nice. It's got the little frilly sleeve there. It has like a high neckline, I would say, like a square, like almost a box neckline there. But the sleeves, like this frill here on the sleeves, that kind of evens the shoulders out. And I think that just, I think this is, this is adorable. I really, really like this. I like the length of it as well. It's just above the knee. So it's not like a super mini dress because I don't feel comfortable in things like that. But it's also not a maxi. I love that it's got the sleeves because as I say, in Scotland, it's not roasting. <laughs> You're still going to be kind of cold. So it's got the little sleeves as well. I think this is just adorable, annoying. <laughs> I'm like, don't buy all your clothes from Primark, but this is cute. This is really cute. I really like it. Yeah, thumbs up. Love it. All right, so this might be the first. Net <laughs> net. I'm not so sure about this one. Uh, as I said, it has that balloon hem, so it's got a lining in it, and then because it's sewn into the lining, it does that under. It like gathers at the bottom. It's got that balloon hem. I don't hate the style of it. I like that baby doll style, big puffy sleeves, a little oversized doll-like dress. I like that. The thing is, it's just a little, just a little moo moo. It's just a wee bit like Homer's moo moo in The Simpsons. And for that reason, I'm like, mm. And also, I want to point something out. See, because of the lining, I like the length of this the same way I did with the last one. But because of the lining, when I raise my arms, look, that's not me, that's not me even putting them right above my head. Look how high that comes. My bottom arse is practically on show right there. That is just, that is just a little too much for me. My bottom is hanging out at the back. 
if I put my hands up. Because the lining of the dress, it just pulls it right, right up. <laughs> so, and then also when you put your hands up because of the gathered sleeve, it kind of like then pulls on the sleeve. I feel like I would constantly be going like that and pulling them down. So, in theory, I like this dress, but I think because it's the bigger size, it's just a wee bit moo moo. And if I had the smaller size, heavens above, my fanny would be on show to everybody if I put my arms up. So, this one's a no. This is probably gonna be one that I need to take back. All right, so this is the stripy midi dress. I'm so disappointed this doesn't fit quite right because on the top, I actually think the style of this is very, very pretty. I love the sleeve. I like this wee bit of detailing. I think from here, it looks amazing. The problem is that, like I said, my hips, this bit is tight, right? Which then in turn makes this bit look super puffy. It just doesn't sit right because my hips and my bum is too tight there. So it doesn't naturally fall down the way it should around about those areas. And it doesn't lay flat like it should because it's too tight. I also obviously have my insulin pump here as well, which you can see. That doesn't bother me. A lot of the time dresses that I have, you can see that and things. It's part of me, it keeps me alive, it doesn't bother me. But this is just a little too neat around about this area. And that is making the rest of the dress sit all a little bit funny and a bit gathered, as you can see here. It's just not going to sit right. Which is really disappointing because actually when I straighten it out, I think it's a really pretty dress. I think it's really, really nice. But it's just going to, that's going to keep, that's going to annoy me. That's going to pull and I'm going to be super aware of that. So this one is also going to go back because I knew it. I knew my bum and my hips <laughs> would cause issue in this dress. You can see it gathering here as well on the hip because I've got a smaller waist than I do on my bum and my thighs and you can see it straight away. This doesn't bother me. I don't mind that it's tight on my thighs. It's because it's making this area gather. That's why I don't think it's terribly flattering and unfortunately the fit of it. And if I got a bigger size, then this area I think would be too baggy. Um, so <sighs> that's the problem with being a pair. What can you say? <laughs>